Welcome back to Morning Lab. It's 8.53. Boba Fett made his first appearance in 1978 at a country fair parade. Weeks later, appeared in a Canadian-produced animated short that aired as part of the live-action TV show called Star Wars, the Star Wars Holiday Special. And when it came to the movies, Boba Fett played a, a, a role in The Empire Strikes Back and then reappeared in Return of the Jedi and many, many appearances since, including one on Morning Live, Jeremy Bullock, a.k.a. Boba Fett. Thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> Absolute pleasure. Uh, welcome back to Canada. You've been in Niagara Falls before and you're there this week. <laughs> yeah, my wife and I went when, when the weather was good, of course, um, but it's beautiful, absolutely stunning. And that mist, maids of the mist. Yes. Uh, that, everybody in their cagoules hiding from, but it's glorious. Well, hopefully you'll get some tourist time in there, but I know you're going to be uh, inside the Scotiabank Centre for uh, Saturday and Sunday mm -hmm. because many people are coming up to see you. Because Boba Fett, what is it about Boba Fett? I mean, since those two movies that I mentioned came out, it's just exploded. Well, it, 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 to me, you know, people say, why is it so successful? Why is this character so popular? And I think there's something about him. He's just a loner. The costume is, I mean, just put the costume on and people say, who's this? It's, it just took off. And there's a, the mystique, obviously, yeah. there with the helmet. And you've said that before, that Boba Fett's face should never be revealed. Yeah, I said that ten years ago before they did the other films and now he's got a background story but I still believe that once he starts doing that the mystery's gone yeah so we'll, we'll see we'll see what happens but it's very exciting they're doing more films and in England as well which is good did you have it now of course we're looking at uh, a live-action Boba Fett right behind <laughs> you I should warn you right. you actually have uh, yes there he oh, is yeah. <laughs> And uh, he's a forgery. Uh, yes, yeah. a, a very reasonable facsimile, though, and yeah, it's it, quite intimidating. Yeah, it is. Every time you see it, there's something that's going to explode. <laughs> <laughs> now you've got quite a collection at home as well, and fans made you a helmet. Yeah, um, the dented helmet, which this wonderful outfit is made, they out of just a tribute. We want you to accept this, Jeremy. Thank you very much indeed for what you did. I said, well, I did nothing. Yes, you did. You did. You played Boba Fett. That's right. I said, oh, so. This costume. I mean, I don't wear it around the house. Well, I could. Do. <laughs> Scares um, the grandkids. Yes, I know you've yes, got a lot the of grandchildren them. Grandchildren No, they put it on and just. But they love it. Yeah, they well, their grandfather was Boba yeah. Fett. Yeah. That's well, how they cool try and that? they try and hide it yeah. now because <laughs> they're getting a bit older. They yeah. don't want to know. Shh, quiet. <laughs> But that, uh, you know, of course, you're doing London West End Theater, and they say in the theater business, uh, there's no such thing as a small part. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. And this well, thing is... Well, I mean, I was doing the play, and I thought, well, there's no way I'm going to be playing. It was two... I was told it was two days' work, mm -hmm. two days' filming, yeah. and I was dashing to the theater at night to appear in this play. Yeah. Um, and then suddenly, off it goes again. They yeah. said, we'd like you back for Return of the Jedi, and so on. And here you are traveling conventions around the world, including Niagara Falls. Best and worst moments at these conventions? I think best is just being adored for occasion. If I'm having a row with my wife, I can be adored. <laughs> and by... soak up the love. Yeah, absolutely. But um, the worst, well, not really worst, but when someone came up and said, Mr. Bullock, could you sign my leg? I, I said, are you sure? He said, I just want it signed. You know, I've got a tattoo. Well, he, I signed it just for fun. Right. Then he went and had it tattooed there and then at the event. And it was this sizzling flesh. <laughs> and I went, no. I said, no, surely you haven't. He said, I've had it done. Thank you, Mr. Bullock. And, moved, and walked on. <laughs> sizzling flesh. It doesn't sizzling. get much creepier there than that. Is. It really is. <laughs> yeah. That was scary. Well, listen, so many are looking forward to seeing you this weekend. And before we go, I mean, there's so many Star Wars fans, but I'm a 007 fan. Oh, and yeah. this was Q's assistant, Smithers. We've got a picture of you from your... You were in three Roger Moore films, and you've got so many great Roger Moore stories. Yeah, well, Roger Moore was an absolute delight, you know, to work with. And we'd come in, and there was this special, very quick thing of swinging the arm. Yeah. And he'd say to Desmond Llewellyn, he said, uh, right, off we go, action. You know, we were doing it. So now pay attention, 007. We've got a twin thruxel of the four by four, which was, and then suddenly Roger Moore would look at him and say, what are you talking about? Oh, stop it, Roger. These lines are difficult enough as it is. 
and he made everyone feel very welcome, but always teased Desmond Llewellyn, and it was a running gag all the time. Well, between but Star Wars and 007, we've got to get you to sign our... Uh, we, we get the big stars in this show to sign our couch over here. So, uh, a pleasure <laughs> to meet you, and we'll, we'll see you on this busy weekend in Niagara Falls again tomorrow and Sunday at the Scotiabank Convention yeah. Center. Uh, it's the Niagara Falls Comic Con, and uh, well, there's the uh, website with all the guest stars. Yes, Adam West, Batman, and uh, you name it, it's a huge list from the Nazi, from Soup Nazis to Nuts... <laughs> in sizzling flesh. <laughs> See you in Netflix this weekend.